audience is well aware we have some amazing people for you to meet today. Lenny Kravitz is here. He just uh, off his win at the Grammys for Best Male Rock Performance, and this is his new CD5. Then performing their smash hit Girl of My Dreams from their album, which has just gone platinum in this country, the Moffats are here. She won. So we're ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Album Chapter One, The Beginning, was spawn has spawned three hit singles and has just been awarded platinum status in Canada. <laughs> Singing the hit single, Girl of My Dreams, ladies and gentlemen, The Muppets. How y'all doing out there? Thank y'all very much. Well, uh, here's our current single. We hope y'all like it. Thank you, Dini. Here it is. And this one's going to Dini. All right? This one's going to Dini. It's called Girl in My Dreams. One, two, three. You are the girl of my dreams. In my heart, I believe you are the girl of my dreams, a baby of my dreams, all alone in my room, wishing that you were here without you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They are huge. And they'll be back with us right after this. The Muppets. I mean, that's good. Work them over there. Come over there. Next Wednesday, one of the hottest authors around, the writer of The Bounty Hunters and Get Shorty. Elmore Leonard will be here with his new book, Be Cool. We're back with the Muppets. If you can hear us over the screaming. Okay, I would like you to meet Scott and Clint and Dave and Robert and these, the three, these are the triplets, born in March the 8th, so they just turned 15. Scott 
Jack's birthday is coming up on March the 30th. So March is a pretty big month in your life, yeah. eh, guys? Pretty busy. Where were you for your birthday? What part of the world were you in, guys? As a matter of fact, it was yesterday, and we did... <laughs> It was, it was last Monday. It was last, last, last Monday. Monday. We, uh, we did an in-store at Walmart, and the security was incredible. You know, there was about five to 6,000 people there. <laughs> a lot inside and a lot outside, and uh, it was sponsored by Procter & Gamble. And a lot of the times when you have that many people, it, it tends to get out of control, but the security went great and uh, just went very fans smooth. Fans were well-behaved. The, yeah. the crowd <laughs> Fans were incredible. They sang us happy birthday. Ah, yes, that's so did. nice. Yeah. That's something you guys have become very aware of now, is crowds and security. What's the biggest crowd you've ever been with? Um, well, we played in, in front of a lot of pretty big, pretty big audiences. Like um, at what? What? Thirty thousand? Forty? No, Ten? Twenty? Um, the biggest one we did, we were in front of, was about a hundred and two thousand. Where was that? That so was uh, that was here. In, it was actually in Vancouver. In Vancouver. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You've been around the globe three times, right? Three times, yeah. Okay. So your fav favorite place, favorite memory from around the globe, and your three turns are Robert. Give me one here. Oh. Favorite moment somewhere out there. Favorite moment. Well, that's, a, that's that's a hard choice to make because they're all so different. Every every place that we go to, we experience something new, and uh, I mean the fans all around the world are so uh, are so different. Yeah. And you know, Canadian fans yeah. are, are so beautiful. Dave, do you have one? Do you have like a, a a night that you recall that was just like, oh man? Ah, uh, no. I do. The Junos was. Yeah. 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 Scott. But I really like like Paris. Uh, Paris was an incredible experience for me. Yeah. I got to see. Everything, all the history of Paris, got to experience some great food. Yes, yeah, great. And no matter, you know, we fly to a lot of airports, and you know, it's very common for us. But you know, you see him all the time. But when you fly to a Canadian airport, you just know, no matter where you are, you just know that that's that's your home, and it gives you a great. When you vibe. step outside, the the, yeah. the air is so fresh, and it's, yeah. it's nice to come back to Canada. So you guys are now huge, and and it is. Uh, I think the Hansons on one interview they did did credit you guys with being an inspiration for them. But these guys, you know, have kind of gone through a lot in their lives, and they they've been working at this business since they were three and four years of age. In fact, they were on the show once before, and I asked them if they recalled, and they were a little unclear. So uh, we have it for you. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah.